I'd like to discuss ultrasound and its effect not only on the mother, but also the growing fetus. Thanks to the media today, a lot of people are aware of the dangers of diagnostic ultrasound. Now the doctor doesn't tell you any of those dangers. Instead, he says to you, there is no proof that ultrasound is dangerous. But if people have access to the same information that doctors do, they will learn that there are at least a dozen experimental studies that show damage from ultrasound, including damage to the biochemistry of the child, damage to the immune system, and delayed maturation of the central nervous system. The human studies, which have been carried out by Dr. Alice Stewart of the, of the uh, Oxford Child Cancer Study, now reveal in the five-year follow-ups an excess incidence of leukemia in the children born to mothers who were exposed to diagnostic ultrasound during their pregnancy. <clears throat> now the reason why that's important is because today ultrasound has replaced x-rays during pregnancy. Doctors used to do x-ray pelvimetry until mothers found out that those x-rays led to an excess incidence of leukemia in their later born children. Now a mother says to a doctor, doctor, you're not going to x-ray me, are you? And the doctor says, oh no, we don't do x-rays anymore. We use ultrasound. And the mother then says to the doctor, well, what is ultrasound? And the obstetrician says, oh, you don't have to worry about ultrasound. That's what they use to detect submarines, which always interests me because what the hell do obstetricians know about submarines? So I recommend to every mother <coughs> that she find out as much as she can, if necessary, from the government pamphlets. There's a wonderful government publication put out by the Department of HHS called Ultrasound Overview, which gives many of the important studies about the dangers of ultrasound. I also recommend that every mother recognize that the doctor gets four chances to give her baby ultrasound, that is her baby in utero ultrasound, without telling her. The first opportunity the doctor takes is when he says to the mother, don't you want to hear the baby's heartbeat? And he uses the Doppler Doptone stethoscope. And he doesn't tell the mother that that is a source of continuous wave ultrasound. The second time is when he uses the scan, the ultrasound scan. He takes a picture and he says to the mother, don't you want to see the baby's sexual organs? And he doesn't tell her that that is intermittent wave ultrasound. Later, if he talks the mother into an amniocentesis, he doesn't tell the mother that he guides the needle, the amniocentesis, that is put through her abdomen and into the fluid surrounding the baby with the use of ultrasound. And finally, at the end of delivery, when he carries out fetal monitoring, either externally by uh, strapping the mother with those leather straps, or internally by taking that metallic device and screwing it into the scalp of the baby before the baby even emerges from the birth canal, those are both forms of ultrasound. So the average woman, the average mother going into a hospital today to have her baby can be sure that she is going to get exposed to ultrasound several times during her pregnancy.